This is the new Volkswagen Tiguan. Now this time around, VW have tried to make it look a little bit more different than the Golf on which it's based, but they're still stuck with the same silly name. So it comes from a blend of Tiger and Iguana. So this is actually a Tiguan. It looks nothing like the car now, does it? They should probably ditch that name if you ask me. This car actually starts from around £22,500. But if you click up there, you can go to carwow.co.uk to see what deal you can get on one. Now on the inside, the new Tiguan, well, it does look nice, but there's just something a little bit antiseptic about the design. If you're buying this car, you should just go for one model, really. The SE Nav, because it's got all you pretty much need. So you get tri-zone climate control, which means you can set a high temperature in the back just for the kids to send them off to sleep. It also includes this large 8-inch touchscreen, which is very easy to use, and it includes navigation and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, if you click up there on the pop-out banner, you'll be able to see our full in-depth video review of the infotainment system. Other stuff that you get with this particular model is a really handy under front passenger seat drawer. That's really nice. And that's in addition to the other copious storage, which includes a cubby up there, some more storage under there, storage there, there, another place there. And of course, you've got quite a big glove box there and a very large door bin. Actually, I'm going to need that because I want to show you that the door bins here in the back, they're really large as well. So, this new Tiguan, it's bigger than the old Tiguan, and yeah, there's there's plenty of room here. Loads of headroom, absolutely acres of knee room. You can stretch your feet under the seat in front. Now, the middle seat, it's actually better than you might think. So if I move across, yeah, it's, it's quite squidgy and soft. There is a bit of a transmission tunnel, but because the footwells are so large, that doesn't really matter. There's some nice features as well, such as, well, this SE nav model gets these picnic tables and they're on a ratchet system, so they won't fall down. There's even a little cup holder there as well. One thing that's not so great though is, well, the quality in the front of this car is really nice, but here in the back, it doesn't pass the Conway flick test. And that really hurts actually. Really hard plastics back here. But I'm gonna forgive the car because the rest of it feels well made, such as solid armrest. There, you've got some cup holders actually. And look at this, all models get three-way folding split seats so you can have through loading from the boot. Speaking of which, let's head around there now. This Tiguan's is one of the very biggest in this class and it's even more usable because it's a really useful square shape. Also, there's no load lip to lift stuff over. You've got some tethering points here, 12 volt socket here, and some underfloor storage. Well, if you don't have the full size spare wheel, it's your choice. Uh, I like this feature though, look. You can fold the rear seats down from here. Perfect if you're lazy like me and can't be bothered to walk around to the, the back doors there. And yeah, look, you've got a massive load area there and it's fairly flat as well. Now, if you want to see just how much stuff you can fit in this car's boot, click up there on the card for our in-depth practicality video. You'll also be able to see how easy it is to fit a child seat in the back and just what it's like with three adults in the rear. On the whole, the Tiguan is a very impressive package and this continues on the road. So this new Tiguan, it's just so easy and relaxing to drive in that no nonsense and flappable, super efficient Volkswagen way. You know, it's it's basically just like a big pumped up golf. Yet while it is big in town, it never feels unruly. So it's in no way like a tiger at all. And there's plenty of grip, so even in the wet, it doesn't get slippery, so it's not it's not like an iguana either. Actually, yeah, I know iguanas aren't slippery, they have scales, but I was just trying to continue the analogy. Anyway, this car on the whole, you know, it's comfy, it's quiet, and it handles well. In fact, it hardly rolls around the corners at all for a big vehicle, so your kids shouldn't get car sick if they're in the back. And then there's the visibility. So this new Tiguan is actually, well, it's raised up more over the old Tiguan, so you get a better view out. However, you do seem to sit more in it than on it, like you do with some of its rival SUVs. Still all around visibility, it's very good. So these pillars are thin, so are those at the back. There's a large back window. In fact, you can see for yourself by clicking up there to join me for a passenger ride in my 360 degree video. Now the majority of UK bars will spend extra to have the Tiguan with all wheel drive, but there's no need to get the all wheel drive version unless you really, really do need the extra grip or you want a badge on the back of your car that says full motion, but then that makes it sound like the car is a laxative. 
in terms of engines? Well, there's a wide range and they're all good, but there's two standouts. So if you don't do many miles, get the 1.4 litre turbo petrol because it's nippy and it's also economical. Do quite a lot of miles, get the one in this car. It's the two litre diesel with 150 horsepower. It's fast enough and it gives good economy. So VW says, well, it says 59 miles per gallon and the trick computer says 47, which is actually pretty good. So then the Volkswagen Tiguan is an all round good egg but it does have some annoying traits. Here's five. The adjustable boot floor only adjusts by a few centimetres. Pointless. Beware of the larger wheels because they do result in a little bit more road noise. If you have a spare wheel, you can't store the parcel shelf under the fourth floor, so you'll have to find somewhere else to put it. Volkswagens come with a three year warranty, but rivals from Asian firms come with either five years or even seven years. For such a supposedly posh looking new SUV, it's a bit of a shame that the car comes as standard with old fashioned halogen headlamps. And anyway, you don't really want that to put you off this car because it has plenty of cool features. You can get some super comfy ergo seats, which also include a massage function. Mm. You can get an optional tow bar with trailer assist, which makes it easier to manoeuvre the trailer. Autic ones get auto emergency braking and active lane assist to stop you weaving about all over the place. You can get a folding front passenger seat if you want to carry metal girders or other long stuff. You can get the Tiguan with a fully digital driver's display, just like on an Audi. This car doesn't have it though, but well, that's what it looks like. So then, overall, what do I think of the new Volkswagen Tiguan? Well, it isn't quite as good value for money as some of its Asian rivals, and in part, some of the trim can feel a bit cheap, but you know, this is a really relaxing, easy car to drive, and it's super practical. Now, if you click up there, you can get more information and find out the best deal you can get on a new Volkswagen Tiguan at carwow.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Click over there to watch our detailed practicality, infotainment, and 360 degree passenger ride video for the Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, did you spot the Easter egg in the video? It was the antiseptic cream in the under passenger seat cubby. And the reason it's there is because its interior is so boring, it's antiseptic.